if you have a lot of results, for example, in the status, a lot of students have passed, but only a few have failed. So that means when you read through all this data, there is there might be a chance that you might overlook that uh, someone has failed. Why is that? Because all the students have passed, so that might be the case that you overlook, you happen to ignore this. So in this case, what is the better solution for that? If I color fail by red and I color pass by green. So in this way, you can never ignore this thing. But do you have to do all that manually? The answer is no, because you know, it takes a lot of time and especially you have to keep in mind that if I've given example of five students, you have to multiply it by 100. So if you have more results, what you will do in that situation, you have to uh, think according to that. So that's not the solution. Uh, I will press Control Z, undo, Control Z, undo. Now, how will I color this automatically so that when pass comes, it will automatically get green and when fail comes, it will be in red. That is conditional coloring. That means all this is related to formatting things. So that is conditional formatting. Uh, what you will do is just select the whole column and then go on this conditional formatting tab in the home tab option. Go on this option and you can see a lot of conditional formatting options are there. But we will go step by step as and when the situation comes. So I will highlight the rules, not greater than, less than, between, okay, equals to, equals to. So when the cell value is equals to pass, highlight it with red, no, highlight it with green and press okay. Now, I've selected the whole column. It means all the cell which has the value pass will be highlighted in green. But even if I go down up to 97th row and I mention pass within this cell, as soon as I enter, notice that it has already colored this thing. So that's amazing. And that's just the basics of it. You can go way further in that. So I will go on the top, Control, Home. To highlight fail, you have to select this column again and give an other conditional, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and then go equals to right here. If the person has failed, highlight it in red. It's quite good. And press OK. Similarly, if you want to highlight the grades, you have to follow the same steps. Just select the column, go to unconditional formatting, highlight cell rules, equals to A, highlighted with green. OK. Conditional formatting, highlight cell rules again, equals to B, highlighted with, um, for example, yellow. OK. Conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equals to, again, C, highlighted with, let's say, oh, you don't have much options right there for coloring. So I have the custom format, and it works similarly like uh, you do it on Paint, Word, PowerPoint, whatever it is. So I will go on Fill tab, and then you can select any color. So I'll just select color. You also can fill effects. So I'll go on fill effects to, you know, give a little bit of more amazing look. Diagonal up and you can select any color combination. Uh, 
all right okay and okay so that's okay then D D should be in for example custom format and orange okay and okay sorry D and then condition formatting again uh, then go again in conditional formatting and go to highlight cell rules equals to fail light red is just fine and okay so that's how you can use the conditional formatting at a very basic level what we can also see at this point is I want to see a little kind of data bar or a graph kind of thing that if the percent certain percentage is more than 70 it should be filled up to this point and if the percentage is less it should be filled up to this point to have a better graphical representation so what I will do in this situation is I will highlight the whole column and you can go on conditional formatting use data bars now as soon as I select any of the data bar you can notice that it will it is automatically setting the graphs itself now it's not according to hundred percent but the maximum percentage that a student has according to that it is filling up to maximum point or minimum point solid fill is something like this it will be filled in solid colors no gradient fill no shading so I think this one is just fine this one so that's a basic session on conditional formatting